Sometimes I wear two helmets. Sometimes I just stack them. I'll wear this and then I'll put a football helmet on top of it. A lot of times. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got another custom e-bike build for you. Want to go over this bike, why this bike is awesome. And yeah, let's go. I'll go over all of it. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I take bikes and I convert them into e-bikes. I do performance tests on them, hill climbing, top speed stuff like that. So if things like that interest you, you should definitely think about checking out my other videos, maybe even hitting a subscribe button. Just don't smash it. Everyone's talking about smashing buttons. Don't do that. Like your, people are going through keyboards or going through mouses like crazy. It's just wasteful. Don't smash stuff, tap it. Just tap the button. First off, got my helmet on. I always wear my helmet, always. I'm always wearing my helmet. It's my Johnny Nerd Out secret to life. Always wear your helmet. So let's get into it. This is the Trek FX4. This is a road bike. I get a lot of people asking me, hey, I want a bike that can go 30 miles an hour for 40 miles. How can I, how can I do that? I'm like, get a bike like this. If you want a bike that'll average 30 miles an hour for 40 miles on a single charge, this bike will do it. This is a bike, look at these. These are 700C by 32 tires. Uh, it's got hydraulic disc brakes. So this bike is set up to go fast and stop fast. It's safe. It's not good for hitting road imperfections, but you know, if you're on bike paths and you're on well-groomed trails, this bike is going to fly. And I'll get more into why it's going to fly here in a second. Let's go over what I did to it. Okay, so it's got a 10-speed cassette in the rear. We added a 52-tooth Lecky, L-E-K-K-I-E, chain ring up front. This is huge. This is the biggest one that they make. So this is for top speed. This is for a good cadence. If you want to be pedaling along at 35, 40 miles an hour, you want to get a 52 tooth. It's not going to be the greatest for hill climbing, but for top speed, and this is a speed bike. This bike is built for speed. I would definitely recommend probably getting like a 52 tooth or a 48 if you're looking for high speed cadence pedaling type stuff. And the nice thing about this chain ring is it's got that thin, it goes fat and narrow, to, uh, every other tooth is fat and every other one is narrow. So it grabs onto the chain much better because if you look at a chain, every other cog in a chain is fat and narrow. So this one just grabs it really tight. Uh, we put a gear shift sensor on it here because it's a mid drive. I always recommend putting a gear shift sensor on your mid drives. Just acts like an automatic clutch, cuts power for a minute, lets you switch gears and go on about your business. We got a 52 volt, 17 amp hour battery here with Panasonic cells. So this will be good for, the range on this is gonna be anywhere from, I would say 30 miles to 80 miles, realistically, just depending on how much you're pedaling. If you keep it on pedal assist one, probably close to 80 miles. But if you're moving and grooving and trying to do 30, 40 miles an hour and keep that pace, yeah, you're probably gonna get a 30 mile range. Something like that. We went with the Bafang BBS-02 motor. It's a 750 watt motor, but with this battery, it'll put out about 1300 watts, I'd say. We went with the 500C color display. This is a really nice display. It's one of my favorites. If you don't need a USB out on it, I recommend going with the 500C. It's nice, small, stealthy. Gives you all the information you're gonna need. Um, next to it, we do have a throttle. So you could use pedal assist or throttle. Um, we put our magnetic brake sensors on here because they got hydraulic disc brakes. So you just got to glue the sensors on. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test. I'm going to do a hill climb test and then I'm going to see how fast I get this thing to go. Hence the helmet. So you can see from a standstill, this bike still climbed like it was nobody's business, even with this giant chain ring up front. And I think back here, it's a 32 tooth in the back. So it's not crazy. It's 52 to 32. I think it's because this thing is so light. I would estimate this thing still weighs 30, maybe 35 pounds. So this thing is still super light. We only added about, you know, 15 to 18 pounds worth of battery and motor, motor onto this. So it's not, this thing is not, crazy heavy this is easy you guys know that i'm a weak boy and i could do this with one hand look at that so all told with with this this setup was about 1250 maybe 1300 dollars for the motor chain ring this and the gear shift sensor you're looking about 1250 to 1300 dollars if you're looking to do this type of setup it's not bad if you have this bike or if you find one used on 
Craigslist or Marketplace or something like that, add, you know, maybe you don't want this chain ring. You, this is like a $110 chain ring right there. Those things are pretty expensive. So you could save quite a bit of money without doing that. But if you want top speed, if you want a bike that'll do 30, 35 for 30, 40 miles, go with this style bike. These tires are like, they're just like uh, ice skates. They just slide across the pavement. There's zero, there's like very little resistance on it. And so this thing just, just moves. All right, hopefully you guys found this helpful and I will see you later.